Hello and welcome to Prison Charms. Okay, today we are going to make a virtual box of the new Trinity. Now you can see I've already got installed, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to new. Live, which is the right one. We want Linux and we want well, the 64. Next, we'll give a uh, say 2 gig of RAM will do, and then we'll create a hard disk partition of say 12 gig. That will be more than enough, I should imagine. Well, we'll create that. Okay, we need to go into settings system. I'm going to give it two calls. Uh, go to display, we'll run it up to, uh, we'll just run it up, we'll leave the 3D alone, storage is empty, so, go there, you'll see a little icon, and right next to ID secondary master, we'll click on that, and we'll choose a, an optical virtual disk, and I choose that one, which is the latest ISO, we open, we click OK, we'll leave everything else alone, and we'll click start. Okay, we'll choose the top one, which is Live CD, and let it boot. Do other options there to let it load into RAM, safe mode, and mem test that kind of thing, and to install directly, but I thought I'd just let it boot straight in. This will take a little bit of time, as it's searching for the hardware in VirtualBox itself. So we'll do this. Okay, you can see like the desktop looks the same as the desktop I'm using because I, I am actually running the operating system on bare metal as well, which is why I'm recording this in. So anyway, it just takes a bit of time to boot. It is a large ISO, and yeah, I'm hoping to get that boot time down soon. But you'll see things improve once it's installed. So anyway, soon, I hope, uh, we'll have booted the operating system in solid degree. So, there we go. New boot of GOI. Now I don't have any tools installed uh, the VMware tools uh, the extensions are not installed so we just cut it off that's fine for now and of course you should be talking to a splash screen once I get those desktop and we should be in light flint as I say and we are in light flint Okay, this is where. Ooh. Don't know if you heard on the mic, but yep, static sounds are working, I think. Most excellent. Okay, it tells me that the username is guest, which is the guest account on me. And if I need root, the name is root, and the password is also root. So I'm going to start the install. I'm just going to do a very straightforward install. I'm going to use the free trace of the 12 gigabytes that I found. I can see it's a virtual box, V box side, it's 12 gigabyte, yeah. Use the free space. And we click next. It will compute the total size. Uh, trying to work at partitions. Next to format the selected partition so it can do quick. This is where you must be sure that you've got things right. I'm in a virtual box, so don't matter. I'm not gonna wipe you wiping mouse and people, but as you can see. Okay, this window will pop up and then expand the new disk and can pop up what do I want to do with it. I'm just going to click cancel for that. Uh, unused hard drive support? Yeah, well, I don't know the NVIDIA drivers or anything. I'll just remove the packages. And then after that, it should start installing. Okay, this is going to take uh, a couple of minutes, I should imagine. 
So I'll pause it when we get to the next stage of the install, which will be the good bootloader. So, uh, we'll okay, I'm back, and as you can see, uh, we're at the bootloader stage. That took about five minutes, six minutes to install the actual OS. So we click next, and we click finish, and the bootloader installation is in progress. Okay, that will be installed in the uh, club and the to the MBR of the uh, disk that I made and so on. And this part just takes like about a minute. There we go. Well, we could finish and the install is done. We can now uh, restart the machine, restart the computer. And guys, we'll sign tune in and we'll shut down live. Okay. I says ask me to when it says CDs move. I don't need to remove the uh ISO because we can move since our press center virtual box or remove it for me. And we'll load into the menu proper. So we'll boot it up. And we get to the second part of the install, which is the passwords and so on. And time zones and etc. Okay, and time zones. Right, you come from Chicago, which isn't correct for me, but that was just done on the CD for nice making. So I'll skip down to, whoops, I'll skip down to SSGB, because as you can probably tell by my accent, I am a bit. Next, oh yeah, I'll leave that as is. Where's that to be for my password? It's uh, put in twice. This is for the root password, the administrator's password. Do I different authentication methods for those using LDAP, etc., or can it to a Windows domain? I'm not doing this. So, now I'm going to. Uh, no password, it's called them because it isn't a strong password, it's just one that could touch on my head. And there we have the login screen, which I'll log into. And we have the splash screen for Trinity. And we are in. Okay, comes in tips. Well, I'll just let that ray finish. It comes up with tips. If you want to read your tips, go right here. I'm, I've read them, I've read them. Hundreds of times, as you can imagine. We'll just close that. Okay, now we still have a. I think we're only going up to, as you can see, 1824 by 768. So, what we'll do now is we'll be install just editions. But excuse my speech. So, we'll go to devices, insert guest edition CD. Under a pop up, we'll click OK, this will mount the CD, and we, as you can see, all the stuff there is good. So we'll close that just for a minute. And I love to find something in the menu that I didn't notice, but okay, we'll allow that just a couple of seconds to sort itself out. I'm not quite sure what that is. Very interesting. Why didn't it happen as a call? Was all too fast? No, it was not. Okay, we'll close that and we'll close that and we'll go that. That was just me being impatient, as I always am, it hadn't fully popularized the menu. So, right, we want to go to the route now because we want to install the guest editions. So, we got this you password in now we want to cd forward slash media and we press ti and then we issue this command to install it as it's vbot linux run as you can see the first one is what we want so i'm using the tab key to 
auto complete. So, we'll do that. Right, it's a copy the edition installer modules, and he said it might take a while. And it might. Okay. So, we'll wait for these. Now I can see the hard disk activity and the old activity down below there and it is it actually installing this is good stuff ok, feedback session gets started and we're good so we need to reboot the system now I recommend rebooting twice and I'll show you for why now ok, uh, here we go, rebooting as you can see the frame buffer is slightly different in when the edition is installed and now it's telling me that I failed to think it that's because I missed something and it could tell me it's failed again in a moment there we go now I need to log into root Okay, I'm in route and I need to remove the actual XO comp because that oops, is what is causing the asshole. So I'll reboot again now I've done that. That mistake is on me, that's a frame for forever. That is nothing to worry about, as you can see, it reboots fine. Absolutely nothing to worry about whatsoever that. I know I've made a mistake on here, but hey, I'm not into really editing and see the IOs come up. So what I really want to do is log in and see there's a dash there instead of password and you don't see my password. This is why I have to boot twice. I'm not sure what that is. And you can also see that the resolution has dropped to 800 by 600. So we'll reboot again. We don't need to reach a reboot, it's just PC on the so you don't just do that. So we'll reboot again. Okay. And also the boot time should be a lot faster this time as well. It's got booting. There we go, we're doing more pulling. Right. Now we can adjust the video more to our liking. And on VirtualBox here, that boy holding down there. Oh, I should really make more sense. Anyway, we should do that by holding down the right control key and F for full screen. The display options are available, and as you can see, the screen has resized. Ok now we're here, we'll go through some of the menus. Under development we have Glade, Glade 3, these are, um, oh, it's been got up for you, we we'll like to take one now, no, Glade 3.2, it's a user interface designer for GTK I believe. Uh, we got the old term browser, Glade 3 is more same, we got places and in the file systems etc applications and art and you can just log what the app says it does it browses the icons and we have type hex is it where we can put the hex in and find and so on that do it best ones all that kind of business next in to four programs okay on the edutainment we have Libra 6 Math which I'll come back to later actually uh, miscellaneous and the science we have again mislaps now I could remove that as suppose from the ISO but oh thinking blinking on the games you've got space dual k goal k reverse i p2 goal so let's see blinken same game and dust box dust box it's exactly that it is dos 
in the box. Um, this is great for things if you're going to go big files, you can make it as a 10 to 16, run their old versions and so on. So we'll exit out of that. Ah, under graphics we have dark table. Great program dark table for doing images and so on. Spoofing up your photos. There's no problem there. And we also have Digicam for your camera. There we go. It's asking for where your pictures are. And it is the TDA. There you go. Digicam. Uh, what else do we have here? We have GIMP. Maybe it's an image manipulation program. Uh, I did install all of the uh, extensions, etc. So, first I want to say start, but there's GIMP and we have the version. Oops, okay. This is what we want. 10.2.10.4. Uh, Close that. Excellent program, GIMP. We have Clay Color Chooser, which is basically. Uh, that you choose in your other colour. So if we pick that as you can see. Anyway, we'll close that. K okay, colour edit. Same idea. Uh, we have KVDI. We have context uh help event. Uh previewer for device independent files produced by the text type setting system. Very useful. Uh, point of view modeler, we have color paint, cooker for neighbor office drawer, font view, and here's the icon edit which lets you edit the icons to more to your taste if you're artistic. On the internet we have uh, Dropbox, I call it Dropbox, Posela, that's our FCP program. I'm going 3.34. Uh, basic instructions etc. Basically if you know the host in the username, click on it, transfer your files over. Excellent way of uploading my ISOs. Uh, we also have Firefox. Firefox is no. Uh, Firefox is a web browser and we are on Perfect Help and do 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 a bit. Now we're on the Quantum 61.0.1 Yeah, that's updated quickly through the repositories No problem whatsoever So we'll close that, close all the tabs here Okay We have KNet attached, that's for your Samba network KSRC is an IRC client See, active connections, create connections, new server. You tell it where you want to go. I haven't got anything set up, but there we go. Where's KSRS? Uh, we have KTON, it's our BitTON client. As we've got no clients installed, but it's our BitTON client. And we have Conqueror. Conqueror is both a web browser and a file browser. If we boot Conqueror's as you can see, in my photos, we can Google, google.com, oops, when I learn to spell, now it's asking me if I need yeah, just etc. There we go, we have Google, no problem. Uh, yeah, send them the cookies for some reason, it hasn't called up the thingy, but it has all that business. I, I was hoping it called with the uh, thingy, but still, it's okay. We're good with that. Anyway, that's Conqueror. Uh, also, internet, we've got a network centre that helps you connect your Wi Fi, etc. Next load, helps you connect to next load client. Sync your files between you and a personal cloud. Nixed Icon is free and open source. You can run your own server on another PC, 
back up to that by actually pushing the internet messenger again at what well, internet messaging as you can see you got adding you got all the protocols you got I was you get together etc etc and to zipper and for those on PC Linux service you can sign it to an X SM XMM ooh excuse me XMPP uh, server that is actually provided by PC Linux you can set up here and chat to fellow PC Linux service users that's what you choose to do we have Thunderbird for a moment and we have to watch that disk off does exactly the same as the WhatsApp on your phone. You open that, give you a, uh, a QR code, you can point your phone at it, once you set up your phone to read the web, and you to and fro from your computer, save to type it in your phone. Seems I have a pigeon still operational the taskbar. Alright, we have the internet there and we have the updates. Right, there's two to be upgraded apparently. Well, we'll have to look at that in a minute. I still have to take kite on it and then we can quit that. This is, kind of, this is for your resolution. My, my screen resolution is 1920 by 1018. It's pretty set up, but if we go to and the virtual button, we have to do 560 by 600. Of course, I can't try that because it'd be off the screen. We have our clipper, clipboard tool, and of course, our volume control, and we have. We've got the guest edition still mounted, but we can use it that day. And it's all done. Okay. Well, we're going to multimedia. We have Amarok. Amarok is a, a movie player. There we go. Let's set all the music. And there's a little file in there. Hello, says. my name is Matthias Etrich, and you are rediscovering your music with Amarok Fast Forward. There we go. That also goes down to this track here. We'll quit out of that, shall we? For your bitty movie makers, we have Caden Live. Caden Live is a KDE app. Now, it tells me that missing packages for our effects are missing, but they are installed and it will use them. So I'll just click OK. And we have everything for editing your YouTube videos, etc., etc., whichever you want to do. Excellent program. Also we have Audacity, Audacity is great for sorting out your audio, as you can see if I start one thing it won't pick anything up because I have nothing actually, I do not have a pass through to the audio recorder so it won't be picking me up talking. What else we've got, Grandview for webcams, uh, I can actually show that as you say, I mean uh, as I said I'm in virtual box, you won't show K3 boy. That's for burning your system for burning your CDs. It tells me now see you write a fan, which is true. And you can create your ISO images and blah blah here. If you so wish. And we have Kmic Clean Mixer, we have Caffeine, excellent little multimedia package. It's telling me that you can't find Libwin 32, they're in a different package now, so it isn't picking them up, but it will use the codex to find LibCSS is installed, and I'll do VB for <coughs> for televisions. Uh, I do have a TV tuning card, but I haven't let <laughs> I haven't let the virtual box pick that up. That's caffeine. Um We've also got MKV tools. Now it tells me there's a new version available online. I will check with the repository later to see if it's there or not. But we can import tool, etc. This is a job output. We can virtual videos. Excellent little program. Read the info. Just where it says in the team. You open a file. It will tell you what kind of video codex, audio, text, if any. Uh, OBS Studio, used by many, many YouTubers. Used by many YouTubers. Uh, no, and OK. Used by many YouTubers, you can set scenes, so, um, sources. Well, 
Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we can do that there. As you can see, it's picking up my screen. It's flashing a bit. I'm in thing but that's okay. As you can see, as I walk around the uh, screen here, it's uh, recording. And you can start streaming to various places. Oops, I'm going to set up. Well, I'm going to settings and stream. And we've got streaming services like YouTube, Smashcast, blah blah. All there, thanks for that. I will exit that as well. You have the PC Lancaster audio converter. That's where it says in the box. You find the an audio file, you can convert it from one format to another format. As simple as that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the Pulse Audio Volume Control. And you can see, no problem. Uh, I don't think I have any, oh, I do have an input device, but it's muted by default. And you can't pick anything up mainly because I haven't got it set up for that. And we have a uh, QJack control. That will start your jack sessions, etc. There is a new jack, Rose Garden. Rose Garden make a plan of the to find the jack center. There we go. But this is what it is. It's basically a MIDI system uh, an annotation, notation. Uh, MIDI recorder, most excellent tool it is as well. Yes, it has crashed because it can't find blah blah. Yeah, yeah, super so. We'll close that anyway. Uh, people know more. And we've got Spotify, which is Spotify. Uh, I don't think there's no more to be added to that. Just sign them with your account and listen to Spotify compared with ads unless you pay for the service in which case you get no ads. Under Office we have k -Jots. just a note. Uh, book name, I mean, do see page one and just take his notes. Like so. So yeah, k notes. KPDF is our poll is a PDF viewer, much like Kyle 2. This is for making um, latex, latex files. This is kind of desktop publishing, you can place fonts and pictures and anywhere on the screen, that kind of thing. But we have LibreOffice, uh, the whole LibreOffice here. And we'll let that load and uh, We'll do a right document, there we go. We go to help in the bait, which is tell us that it's on 6.0.4.2. Okay, and we've got draw, impress, calc, math and writer. Under settings, Bluetooth manager for those who've got Bluetooth. Caffeine, caffeine is a screen to make your screen stay awake, it disables any kind of DPMS, that kind of thing. Change background, change the background. Configure X screen saver, to be as clear. Configure your computer. Carty system. You need this if you want to keep figuring this thing, not desktop, but the computer itself, and I'll show you what I mean. And we'll ask for my root password, which I have given it. For me, you can install software. Uh, you can configure an FTP and configure the web server. If you don't have a web server installed, which isn't installed by standard, by the way, we'll download the patchery and set you up a, a simple web server for you. On next service, we can configure DHCP2, DNS. This is DNS servers. Configure a proxy server, configure a time server, and SSH. Under hardware, we can browse and configure hardware, sound, graphics. Uh, set your keyboard layout if you've made a mistake earlier, run the install and if you're not American and you've hit the US this is where you can come to fix it you don't need to use a TED keyboard just come straight here, same for the mouse you can also set up printers, your scanners and uh, uninterruptible power supplies network some that yes you connect to the internet 
Yeah, you can get to buy steel, land. So a proxy for no two, share connections with other machines, share for your VPNs, share for your host definitions, all that business can be done straight from here. On the system, authentication. Uh, this is the same as when you first thing on the, the advanced tab when you create your new user. This is what you can do, you can do for Kyberos, Elder, Windows Domain, NIS and local file which is what we are and we'll cancel that because we don't need to do that. We can add the MD port from Windows once. If you're due booting Windows, this will indeed get Windows fonts for you. Not a problem at all for it. Uh, of course, you can always uh, enable and disable uh, services from here. As you can see, um, I'm not going to be messing around with any services in the virtual box. Manage your own time, manage localizations for your system, view your search logs, open a console, you guys, and manage users. If you want to manage users, if you want to add a user to somebody, if we don't just say, Lisa, and then she wants to log in as Lisa, and a password of uh, whatever. And assuming that's to a maid, they call makeup, here's Lisa, there we go, and now she's a user of Lisa. When she has finished for your company, or she's no longer your girlfriend, oh, you can delete all her stuff and her account, and it's gone. I will quit out that bit. Okay, and um, we can import Windows documents and settings. Network sharing, this is where you do your SMB shares. Share drive, share drive directories, NFS and WebDAV. Local disks, this is a partition manager. And as you can see, it made two drives up, one of 1.8 giga and one of 10 gigabytes. And that's what we are installed on. On this computer we have this firewall and configure authentication tools. And on the boot we can set up automatic login, set up display manager. We have GDM and CDM. The reason why I'm using GDM is because after it installs and you ask you to put in your username, passwords, all that business, it does not work if you're using the TDM. But after you've logged in, you can switch to TDM. Not a problem whatsoever after that. Anyway, that's what we have in the uh, Priest Line of Arrest Control Centre. Then configure the panel, configure the pin, configure the digital timers, GDM setup, G Party, another great uh, partition manager, as you can see. It's doing more or less what it said on the Priest Line of Arrest one. I won't be messing around with process in there, but it's just good. Get Pierce Locks is a utility to download other versions of PC Linux OS. Now it does take a while while it goes through the mirrors. <coughs> Excuse me. And you will be able to download in your deeds Mate KD5, XFCE, Darkstar. Graph Driver Mini version, TDE Mini, excellent, uh, and my versions of TDE, Peace Lorex, and so on and so forth. Excellent. We've got Emission Dexter, Kaya Finder, we'll find apps on your thing and add them to the menu. Kobe uh, FX is actually the start menu here. That's the editor for that. My live USB, just to make your own USB sticks up with your operating system, your own, your video own respins if you wish, all your preferences, and then to MV clock which is for NVIDIA users. It's on here just in case it's needed, if not you can move it from here. From here we have super user system, we have super user conqueror, that's our super user web browser. So we can do things as an admin. Uh, yes, if it ever loads that, so there we go. Now as you can see, it's actually showing hidden files by default as root. You will not do that as a user. So you can 
photo anywhere and be very careful of course if you did the wrong photo good luck booting well I've been using this now for about ooh, quite a while they stopped telling me I'm using Thunder and Sim Sim Meg at the two gigabytes of Davies and the load is low and I'm in single digits for two of the processors so there's no Trinity is so lightweight it's tough for me um, yeah anyway on the utilities we got the usual calculators, note takers, tips, clipper, kyrot, tv, uh, editors, uh, archiving, uh, file system view, graphical output basically I have as you can see I've got taken what and where grab a uh, Lexmark printing uh, brief bit um, Windows will be CC cleaner. Yeah, kind of, kind of a bit like CC cleaner. Uh, touchpad at all. For those who want to turn off their touchpad, etc. etc. Anyway, that is PC Linux. So I will now shut this down and end the session for today. I hope you like this video. I really do actually and uh, yeah, that's the overview of my PC Linux OS with the Trinity Dista I'll just wait until this closes which it will and thank you for 